In this video, I will show you how to download and install VirtualBox and then download Windows 11 to create a virtual machine. First, open a browser and search for VirtualBox or go to virtualbox.org. Click on Downloads and you'll see Platform Packages. Click on Windows Hosts and let that start downloading. Be sure to also download the Virtual Machine Extension Pack. The Extension Pack should be the same version of the VirtualBox version that you're installing. Once you have them both downloaded, run the VirtualBox installer. You might get a message like this if you don't have Visual C++ redistributable installed on your computer. To fix this, just click OK and then Finish. And the installer will quit and say it failed. Open a browser and search for Visual C++ 2019. You should see the Microsoft site come up. They don't get released every year, so just choose the first link at the top, which should be the latest available. Here you would choose x64 since that's what most Windows versions are. After it downloads, run the installer. Now you can go back and run the VirtualBox installer again. This will be a good time to install the Virtual Machine Extension Pack. Just click install and then I agree. It should now be installed even though you don't see anything else pop up. Now before you create a virtual machine you'll need the Windows 11 ISO. You could do a Google search for Windows 11 download or go to microsoft.com forward slash software dash download forward slash Windows 11. Scroll down a little until you see Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. Select the language you want. Click the link that says 64-bit download. It should start downloading and it might take a few minutes. Now start VirtualBox and click on the new icon. You can give it a name and you can change the location where you'll save the virtual machine. I'm going to leave it at the default. Choose the ISO image and select the Windows 11 ISO you downloaded. In the next line you'll choose the Windows 11 edition. I'll just set it to Windows 11 Pro. And I'm going to skip unattended installation. If you choose to use unattended, you will have to enter a Windows key. Without unattended, you can install Windows and enter key at a later time. Click Next and here you set the RAM and the processors to allocate for the virtual machine. The default of 4 gigs and 2 CPUs should work well for most computers. Click Next and here you set the size of the hard drive. I will leave it at 80 gigs and click Next. Now you see the summary and if you need to change anything, click on Back. When you're done, click Finish. Now start the virtual machine and let it boot. Hit any key to boot the Windows 11 ISO. Now you get to the Windows installer. You can change the language if you need and hit Next and then Install Now. Here you can add a Windows 11 key if you have one or click I don't have a product key for now and add it later. You can install and use Windows without an activation key as a trial for a month. Here choose your Windows Edition. I usually choose Windows 11 Pro. Select Custom Install here since you're not upgrading and you can see it detects the 80 gig hard drive from the virtual machine. Just select the drive and click Next. It will automatically create the partitions it needs. Let the Windows installer run. This might take a while so I'm going to fast forward this part. Once it's done it will restart the virtual machine and continue configuring.
Now you will answer some questions to set up Windows. Choose your language. Choose keyboard layout. Then skip. Now you could type in a computer name and it will restart again. Now here you might want to select setup for personal use, but I'll show you that you will get stuck because it will ask you to sign into a Microsoft account or ask you to create one. So I'll back out and instead select setup for work or school. Now you can click on the sign in options and select join domain instead, even though you don't have to join any domain. Here, enter whatever username you want. And on this screen, I will turn off all of the options. And then accept. After a final restart, Windows 11 is installed. Here's where the Virtual Machine Extension Pack comes in. Go to the Virtual Machine menu on top where it says Devices and select Insert Guest Edition CD Image. Click on the folder icon to open the File Explorer and you'll see the CD drive attached with the VirtualBox Editions. Click on the drive, scroll down and select VBOX Windows Add-ons. This will install drivers for the virtual machine, such as the video driver, so you can resize to any window size and it'll just automatically. Choose Reboot and Finish. Now you see you have options to resize the window or to go full screen and it will adjust to the box size. That's it for this video. I hope it helped and thank you for watching.